What is your name again, sir? Donnie Bray. We drove 1,500 miles from New Hampshire to pick up an aluminum step that Donnie and his crew made for us. We were like kids in a candy store, looking at all of that aluminum and thinking up all the fun customization possibilities for our ATC. That's the beauty of our toy hauler. The simplicity of it allows us to create a space that works for us. Donnie's business keeps pretty busy working with the auto racing industry, but he does have steps like the one we ordered on his website and they come in different sizes. We love buying products made in the USA and supporting small businesses whenever possible, but it's even more fun when you get to meet them in person. So now that that mission has been accomplished, we are going to spend the next couple of days at this state park relaxing and regrouping and then another adventure heading west the sun is not out hopefully it will come out it's supposed to the one thing i want to do the most today is enjoy the patio for the first time in the sun while we're waiting for that to happen let's go explore reminding me to call the office to see if we can extend our stay. Earlier during our walk exploring Muir State Park, we both agreed that we wish we could stay longer, and unfortunately all the sites are booked according to the website, but I'm hoping for a last minute cancellation. It's very well built. It's not likely he will get this installed before we leave Alabama, but he's at least getting it assembled. By assembled, I mean he's attaching the parts that allow the step to come out when in use and retract when not in use. Now that the step is assembled, David can have his turn relaxing on the patio for the first time. 
It's definitely one of my favorite features of the ATC toy hauler, especially with a view like this. I'm actually in the midst of doing laundry, so I'm going to take you with me so you can see the views as the sun is setting. This is where the laundry is. It's a short walk from our site, and it's a good excuse to get some steps in after that long drive down the East Coast. So I have a confession to make. When David first had the idea to come here to pick up that step he ordered, I was not excited at all. In fact, I had pretty low expectations for the state of Alabama. Now after spending time here, I don't want to leave. Unfortunately, we were not able to snag a cancellation to extend our stay, so we are off to the grocery store to stock up before our next trip. Now it's time to put that laundry away and also unpack the rest of the clothes that we brought with us from New Hampshire and do some organizing. As you can see, we have some great supervisors. If you know me, you know I normally don't like being woken up in the morning, but this was a pleasant surprise and a great way to spend our last morning at Mere State Park. David woke me up so we could head to the other side of the park and watch the sunrise. So you might be wondering what's next. Checkout is by 11 and then David and I and the cats are going to head out on I-10 West across the country and I'm going to take you along for the ride. <laughs> 